Let me tell you a little bit about Bet Online. It remains your number one spot for NBA, MLB, MMA, boxing. It doesn't matter. Every single prop, every single play, every single point, it's all at Bet Online. When it comes to bets, when it comes to props, everything that you need is at your headquarters for sports betting. That's Bet Online. Head to the website right now, use your mobile device, sign up, get a 50, that's 50% welcome bonus. Don't forget to use the promo code B L E A V, that's Believe, to get yourself a 50% welcome bonus. Come on, there's no need to hesitate. Bet Online, where the game starts. Where'd you get that hat, Mike? It's so dope. I know it is. Melon. M-E-L-I-N. You're out here on your farm in Texas in the humidity, and your head gets funky, but your hat won't. Melon's got you covered. Five times more durable than any other hat on the market. Waterproof. You drop it while you're fishing. It floats right there on the water. You can wash it when it gets funky, and it'll come right back into shape, just like the day you got it. The most comfortable hat on the market, plus they got tons of different styles and fits. They even have a fit finder right there on the website. They got snapbacks, they come in classic, regular, extra large. Melon very, very rarely offers discounts, but right now you can get 30% off. So head to the website, M-E-L-I-N dot com slash Mikey. Get yourself 30, that's right, 30% off. Elevate your hat game and don't let it get in the way of your lifestyle. Melon hats. Melon.com slash Mikey. I hope you're ready to have your mind blown with the greatest health and fitness information on the planet. <laughs> yes, bitch! Hello, everyone. I am Mikey of Mikey Likes You. I'm the one who likes you are you who is liked. Welcome. I want to go over the fundamentals. All right. Um, that's what this show is going to be about. I had a nice young lady comment on the last Q&A with my daughter, which well, thank you to everyone who was so sweet to my daughter. She just loved all the positive comments. Um, she, she was talking about how she had lost uh, 10 pounds in the last six weeks from following the advice I gave her about calorie set points and protein in, in a prior episode immediately comments below like what episode blah, blah 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 and I can't find it and then I was getting all the DMs so what I wanted to do was just kind of go back go over the fundamentals because I do think that that's what's important big problem is that people right now with the internet you waste a lot of time and you waste a lot of mental energy on things that aren't important so I'm going to go over all the things that are let's start off with nutrition nutrition find calories for you if you want to lose weight you need to be in a caloric deficit. If you want to gain weight, you need to be in a caloric uh, surplus. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is important, and that means something. Focus on that. So, what is my caloric set point? Well, there are equations, and they work. The problem is, is that once you plug in all that math, it still has so much variation for age, gender, lifestyle, training history, all these things. So I always say, look, if you're a guy and you want to lose weight, you want to lose body fat, start with 12 calories per pound of body weight. Go with 15 if you want to gain body weight, if you want to get jacked. 12 calories per pound. Uh, if you're a woman, you want to lose weight, go with 10 and 12. 10, 10 if you want to lose weight, and then 12 if you want to gain it. Now, this might not be perfect, but here's the key. Sorry, making sure it wasn't a coyote. So if you want to lose weight, start with 10 per pound of body weight. If you're a woman, 12 if you want to gain some weight. Now, th they may not work for you right out of the gate. Here's the thing. You're going to track. I don't think everyone should track for the rest of their life, but there needs to be a time and a place where you are acutely aware of how much you're eating and how that affects you. My Fitness Pal and Carbon, Lane, Lane Norton's amazing app, you, you can use either one, and it makes it really easy. You're going to track. You're going to weigh how much uh, meat you're, and oatmeal you're having, and you're going to get to, if it's 2,000 calories, you're going to stay there, and you're going to track, and you're going to monitor for two weeks. If you are not losing weight, you need to take 200 calories away. If you're gaining weight, you need to take probably 400 calories away. This is if you're trying to lose weight. If you're a guy trying to beef up, 
and you're not gaining any weight oh, after two weeks, uh, add 200 more calories, okay? You just got, you got to play, and you got to know your own body. This is by far the most accurate way. Now, unfortunately, it takes a little bit longer than just having an equation that is fed to you. The problem with those equations, and I will repeat, is that they may be good equations that work, but they will be different for every single person. And it's so hard to judge. Some of them have, you can apply, like uh, times it by 0.8 if you're very accurate, times it by 0.6 if you're sedentary. The problem is, is that it's, it's all arbitrary. And training history and gender and age, it all makes a huge, and lifestyle makes a huge difference. I can tell you right now, two years ago in Venice Beach, me, I'm a fucking fitness geek. I did not burn half as many calories as I burned just living as a farmer. Being a farmer fucking keeps me on my feet all day. I average 16 to 18,000 steps a day, not walking. I don't do any treadmill. I jogged zero. My knees cannot take it. So that's just my lifestyle now. My point being is like, a truck driver who's sitting all day, even though he or she may be in really good shape, it's a, it's a whole different ballgame than a mail delivery person. Uh, I could have said that better. A, a postwoman, a postman. Um, so 10 and 12 for women, 12 and 15 for guys. Now, start with a protein set point because that is the most important of the macronutrients. Protein is not just for beefing up. It's not just for bodybuilders. It actually has a higher thermic effect interior inside the body, meaning that it burns more calories to eat it. It is going to help you with your protein synthesis, which is going to help you gain muscle mass or maintain muscle mass when you're losing body weight. Seriously, dude. So start with one gram per pound of body weight for a guy. Start with 0.8 for a girl. The rest of that, once you've had your calories, you've established your protein, okay? The rest of it, the carbs and the fat, that's up to you. Look at uh, calories as your overall net income, okay? Protein is your mortgage. It's non-negotiable. You have to have it up a certain amount. So you establish that. Fat and carbs is like your vacation money and your car payment. That's up to you. Work it how it is most suitable for you to, to enjoy life and stay sustainable at that calorie set point. If that means high fat, low carbs, awesome. You love keto, go for it. If you're plant-based, whatever, go full carbs and have really low, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you stick to a calorie set point that fits your goal and that you keep your protein high. Protein has four calories per gram. So let's take me for instance. Uh, I am 180 pounds. So for easy math, I know I said 12 and 15 for guys, but for easy math, we'll do 10. I'm 1,800 calories total, okay? Uh, I'm going to have 180 grams of protein. That is... 20 minutes later. 720 calories. 720 calories, okay? Four, grams, uh, four calories per every gram of protein. 180 grams, I know, because I'm 180 pounds, so 180 grams, 720 calories. And if I'm eating 1,800 calories, you take 1,800 minus 720, 1080. Okay, so I have 1080 to work with. I divide those up to how it best suits me when it comes to carb and fat breakdown. All right, so we got, we got nutrition down. Get your calories set, find your protein set point, and then... Stick with it. Consistency. You don't have to marry yourself to any type of fad diet. Whether you're paleo, keto, plant-based, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times a day you eat. It doesn't matter what times you eat. One meal a day, seven meals a day, eating right before bed, eating right when you wake up. Intermittent fasting works, but it only works to help you control staying at that calorie and that protein set point. If it's easier for you to eat two or three meals a day within a six hour period, go with it. It's not necessary. You could also do the same thing if your calories and protein were the same if you ate 10 times a day and spread it all out. It just seems to be a little bit harder to do. Um, all right, supplementation. 
Get rid of all of them. Creatine, fish oil, and vitamin D are the only ones that I could sleep well at night and recommend to you. Creatine, fish oil, vitamin D, none of them are crucial, but they, those are things that I can recommend to you and know that you're not gonna be wasting your money. Creatine has many more benefits than just uh, helping you get jacked. It has cognitive benefits. It's been shown to have some anti-aging benefits, longevity stuff. Creatine, and it's cheap. Good creatine monohydrate. Don't get the fancy schmancy stuff. Uh, good old creatine monohydrate like we had in the 90s. Um, so a vitamin D supplement with vitamin K included is, uh, can be useful. And vitamin D is so important that it could almost be looked at as not a, a vitamin and more like a hormone. Um, uh, I would opt for you to get sunlight either way. It's important to let sunlight hit a large part of your body. And then fish oil, um, most of us just don't eat enough fish, fatty fish. So a good fish oil supplement can be of benefit. But besides that, it's really not important. All the other stuff, all the pre-workouts, all the, you'll be much better off saving your money and your focus and your time and your energy because we're all working too much and we're all getting paid less in proportion than we used to. So why not do what's best for us and simplify, simplify, simplify. Those are the three things that I could say without question I can and then go home and, and sleep fine uh, those th those three all right training there's six planes of movement that matter six vertical push vertical pull horizontal push horizontal pull knee flexion and hinge okay those six you want to choose three exercises that hit each one and train three days a week doing one of those exercises on the three days. Okay? So three exercises for all six movements and you want to hit them on three days. You only need to train three days a week full body. Okay? Three working sets. That doesn't include warm ups. Do as many working sets as you want, uh, warm up sets as you want, but three working sets each day on day one. You know, typically, let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. On Monday, you're going to go heavy, three to five reps. You're going to hit as heavy a weight that you can safely handle within three to five reps on Monday to, to generate force. This would be a great day to choose the bigger complex movements. So for overhead, you might do military barbell press or dumbbell press. Pull down would be chin ups, uh, vertical pull would be chin ups, pull ups, things like that. Okay? Bench press, dumbbell bench press, or barbell row, dumbbell row. Squat, if you can't back squat, front squat, um, and then a deadlift. You've hit all six, okay? On Wednesday, you're going to come back. You're going to do all of the six movement patterns again, but you're going to do three working sets in eight to 12 reps, okay? Then on Friday... One exercise for each of the six movement patterns for 15 to 20 reps. Three days a week, full body. Now, what you're getting here is you're hitting all three energy systems and you're hitting all the different muscle fibers. This is as close as I could come to giving you the perfect workout regardless of what your goals are, what your training history is, what you're looking to do, um, your gender, your age, heavy in those rep ranges is relative to you. Do the weight that you can safely achieve within those rep ranges what prox approximates failure. You don't necessarily need to go to full muscular failure. Most people can't anyway. Most people who think they do aren't. But you want to get within two reps of what they call two reps in reserve. So you're two reps away from complete muscular failure. All right. Try to focus on compound movements for each. You know, a, a push up is going to be better than a cable fly. But on the day with the high reps, you might want to opt for something like a cable fly or a, a dumbbell fly because you're going in those high rep ranges. But you're going to train full body three days a week, three to five reps Monday, eight to 12 reps Wednesday. 12 to 15 reps, Friday, full body, all the six movement patterns, and you don't have to waste your time with anything else. I'm my, I, I measured my arms the other day. I'm not that guy, typically, but I wanted to because I stopped training biceps. 
and triceps directly. And lo and behold, my arms at the same body weight are like three quarters of an inch bigger than they've been last time I measured, which was, you know, over a year ago because I was living in Venice. Why? I've been doing chin-ups and close grip bench press like a motherfucker. Okay, so just understand, why waste the energy and the time doing things that aren't necessary? When we have what we can identify as non-negotiables, I've given you those six patterns, and those are the ones you can hammer. And I tr trust me, trust me, give up on your preconceived notions, put all your focus into consistently progressing in those three workouts in those rep ranges with those six movement patterns, and you're doing what you need to do. And here's something that especially women need to hear. Consistency and progression in the three workouts in the movement patterns I just gave you are the non-negotiable. Cardio, absolutely negotiable. Even if you don't want to get bulky. Even if you don't want to be a big monster. Okay? This gives you metabolic health, lean body mass, preservation and gain, and helps you live longer and healthier and be leaner. Cardio just burns calories. Now, if you're an athlete or you're an endurance athlete, you're a boxer, you're an MMA fighter, it doesn't matter. Of course, you need to condition your system to be more efficient. But if you want to look amazing, the, the workouts I gave you, that's the non-negotiables. And give up on all the other shit. Because focusing on things that aren't crucial is going to take away from the things that are. I'm going to give you links to all this stuff, breakdowns. I'll, I'll put it in plain words so you can keep it all on my Patreon. I'll put links in the show notes. If you are interested in having someone guide you through this stuff, because at first it can sound confusing. It's super simple, but it's not easy. Maybe look to my top tier. I'm available. If you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to give up on pre preconceived notions, I guarantee that I can help you get the results that you're looking for. I'll tell you a quick story. I, uh, Kevin and Bean, the radio show I used to work for, they used to do these things called Breakfast With, and they did Breakfast With the biggest bands in the world. Everyone, you name it. U2, Radiohead. Blah, blah. They did one with Metallica, right? And I had the luxury of sitting next to Kirk Hammett. So, and I play guitar. So at the commercial breaks, I was, of course, like talk, trying to talk to Kirk Hammett, not bother him and stuff. But he's like, oh, yeah, before we hit the tour, uh, I got to go back because I got, I got school. <clears throat> I'm going to go back up to Northern California. And I was like, oh, you learn a language or something? He's like, no, 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 guitar, guitar class. I go, you take guitar lessons? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, always. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks because I have people who mentor me, Alessandro Comadina and Stan Efferding and Martin Burkan I've worked with. I'm constantly looking to work with people. Because you're never too good that you can't have the accountability of working with someone and having people to bounce off your ideas to go, I like your idea A, you're listening to my idea C, I guarantee if we find idea B in the middle, that's what's going to be awesome. And I, I can offer you that. Check out my Patreon. My name's Mike Catherwood on Patreon. I'll put a link in the show notes. I wanted to give you the fundamentals. Chickens are driving me crazy here. Dog is driving me crazy there. I will say this. Get your protein set point. Marry yourself to it. Track and follow. Be really, really disciplined and fastidious with it for two weeks. See how your body reacts. Take 200 away if you're not losing weight. Add 200 if you're not gaining weight. Listen to me when it comes to protein set points. Marry yourself to that. Other stuff is just details. You do what's best for you. As far as meal frequency, as far as low carb, high carb, you do what's best for you to stay sustainable. Train three days a week, full body, all three days. Hitting those six movement patterns. Write down your reps and sets. Progress with it. Floofs McGee knows I'm right. That's what he's saying. I speak chicken. All right? I care. The internet makes it so that you're gonna... All right, enough. We got it. The internet makes it so that you're going to waste time hearing everybody's opinions and they're going to drag you down, man. They're going to drag you down. <laughs> Simplify. Don't waste your time, your money, and your effort on shit that doesn't matter when you can be just fucking crushing the things that do.
All right, in this crazy mixed up world that makes you think that nobody cares. Remember, I do, he does too.